Yo, what is going on, TV3 Squad? Hashtag it, Google it. We everywhere, just look it up. Today is the E. Well, at the time I'm recording this, tonight is the NBA Awards show, whatever they call it. But tonight we figure out who's going to win the MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and so on. So, I decided to make my own list explaining why each player should win each award. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. I'm just going to go from like, I'm going to save the best for last, okay? So, on my list for uh, most improved, I have Oladipo. Oladipo really did good this year. He really like wheeled his team to a seven game series against LeBron and the Cavs. Now, now granted it is the Cavs, but they have LeBron. So that's I feel like it's the biggest reason why we won because we have LeBron and he's able to force people to be better when they need to. So I feel like he, it, with him being able to wheel the Pacers that far and that hard. Now granted they are a great team so I can't give him all the credit. But Oladipo really did his thing this year. He did so good to where people were asking who won the trade between him and Paul George. I mean, if that doesn't say how good he did, then I don't know what does. If you're getting compared to see who won the trade between Paul George and, you know, OKC with Paul George and Indiana with Oladipo, he put himself at that level to really force people to ask that question. So, most improved player of the year, Oladipo. Now, for six, well, I, should, I probably, probably should start with six man, but this is six man anyway. Six man of the year where I have Lou Williams winning. I have Lou Williams winning because, like, <laughs> that dude is just a monster. He had, like, multiple 40 point games, multiple 30 point games. He really went off this year. Now, he, he played so good that at one point in time he became a starter. I think that was maybe because someone got injured in the starting five, so he, was, he just came in. But even with that, he still played good, and he still started the season on the bench as a six-man. So I think he should be able to win the six-man of the year award since he started the season as a six-man. So with that being said, six-man of the year award goes to Lou Williams. Next, on to defensive player of the year. Now this one I don't really have that much field of view on. Like, I don't really be watching, like, because usually defensive player of the year goes to the big man if Kawhi is injured, which this year he was. Um, Draymond, I feel like he did his thing, but he did he do his thing all year, so it's kind of hard to like give him credit. But it's kind of like LeBron. LeBron is great, but people still, you know, feel like you could have been greater. Draymond is great on defense, but you know, it's sometimes you, you just nitpick the great ones. So with that being said, I think I'm just gonna go with the status quo with everyone else saying that Rudy Gobert should win. But if Draymond wins, what, second one in the year? I won't be too surprised. Getting to the last two. I hope I'm not missing any. If I am, comment down below. Tweet me. Comment down below if I miss or just tweet me. And uh, we can really discuss this back and forth in detail. At the Real TV 3 it's right there. Yeah, so just make sure y'all tweet me if I'm missing any award. That's where I answer the most at. That's where I, I really like to go in detail the most. So it's going to be right here. For rookie, of, I don't even need to list no more. For rookie of the year, <clears throat> these last two are gonna be a little controversial, huh? For rookie of the year, I have Donovan Mitchell. Now, everyone, else, everybody is saying Ben Simmons. My here's my look at it. Ben Simmons is not really a rookie to me. I feel like because he didn't he didn't come in straight out of college and perform like he didn't come like like Donovan Mitchell came straight out of college. And play like like put play averaging 20, getting 40 point games, taking his team to the playoffs. He came in and balled as a rookie. Ben Simmons came in and sat out the year he was supposed to play. With that, with that, him sitting out like that gave him. Uh, that's just like that's just like a that's just like someone failing the eighth grade. And the second time them taking it, I'm in that class with them. And for my first time. And they get all A's and I get an A. Well, they get an A plus and I get an A. Just cause they got an A plus, they been through it. They been through this material. They, they you know, they they have first hand uh, view of what it's like, so they know how to prepare. And they have access to certain teachers that I didn't have access to. Certain uh, resources I didn't have access to. So I feel like with Ben having 
you know, access to those resources a full year training with NBA trainers, NBA scouts, you know, getting an NBA paycheck, even that those it doesn't matter, still adds into the fact. I, I don't see him as a as a rookie. I call him I, I see him as like a red shirt rookie. Set out his first year but played the second year. So that's just how I look at it. So Donovan, I give you rookie of the year award, you did your thing. Ben, you you was called this year too, but I gotta knock you for, you know, not playing the first year. So Donovan Mitchell, rookie of the year. Now that last one was controversial. This one is just gonna break the internet. MVP, and this is from a non-biased perspective, I'm being honest. Before you guys get all rowdy rowdy and ready to comment, I just wanna show y'all a picture. After seeing that picture, I really don't see how James could win uh, MVP. I feel like he just had the better team and he's been getting snubbed the past few years and I feel like they just want to give it to him this year but I feel like a lot of people don't give credit to what LeBron did this year first of all he beat he beat James Harden in every major category points total point score in the league he beat James Harden in that rebounds assists triple doubles field goal percentage he tied him with three point percentage so I really don't see how James Harden is the clear cut MVP I feel like if you're trying to say he's the MVP and you're factoring that he has the better team and his team was number one or, you know, higher, that's not fair because MVP is the most valuable player, not the most valuable player and the team. And with that being said, look what LeBron did with the Scrubs, the lottery pick team. They would have had, they probably would have had fifth pick this year if they didn't have LeBron. They would have had fifth pick in the draft, no cap. So. With LeBron being able to take this team to the finals, and if y'all want to set the award show after the finals, why not include everything like the playoffs and the finals? Why not include all of that if you're going to set the award show after, or if you're going to reveal the awards after? But that's what my Twitter is for, right here. Tweet me, tweet me. I really want to, you know, discuss with y'all. You know, I'm not trying to come at y'all say y'all wrong or y'all stupid. No, I just really want to discuss with y'all. And you know, I enjoy talking about NBA, so let's talk about NBA on my Twitter. That concludes the video on who I think should win, you know, NBA awards tonight, the day I'm recording this. Um, let me know if I should make a follow-up video saying where they got, where they went wrong. And if you want to see that, just let me know. Follow my Instagram and Twitter, the real TV3. It's right there. I'm, I'm active on both of those a lot. If you want to get personal with me. Go to Snap, because I, I, I follow a lot of y'all, actually. I follow a lot of y'all on Snap. So if you really want to, like, just, I don't know. I feel like, well, you can you can get personal on all apps, can you? I don't know. Just end the video. I don't want to talk about this no more. Yeah. Bye, y'all.